Welcome back. Live summer school week continues with a woodworking lesson. Here to show us how to build the perfect birdhouse, please welcome back Monica Mangan. Hi. What's so funny is Mark did not know that you were an expert with the power tools, I know. and now he's got a whole new level of respect. Oh, I don't know highest. how I didn't bring this up. I don't yeah. know. So we're taking a little like trip down memory road. So to okay. catch you up here, I used to be a school teacher, so I'm qualified to teach you guys. Thank okay. you. I used yes. to be a high school teacher, and I spend a lot of my time building houses, renovating things. So I don't do that as much here on live, yeah. but I'm qualified to teach you guys okay. all of this. So okay. we could have built a whole house, but we didn't have time. For that. So we're okay. going to start you guys off with bird houses. Bird houses. Okay. okay. Great for summer. Really fun. I heard you needed a new one. We need. We yeah, do the bottom our, fell out of the ours. Bottom fell out of our birdhouse, and we don't know how to use a hot glue gun. <laughs> um. at, at the end of this, you might be able okay. to fix it okay. too. And we're going to use some power tools because I love teaching people to use power tools. It's really empowering. It I is. feel like you're going to love it. But I also want to mention for all of these things, you could also kind of go old school. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our wood. You could just use a miter box and a hand saw, but okay. we're going to go over to the okay. miter saw. He so, is very excited. Look at how excited he is. Look how pro. All right. Couple things to mention. Protection, yes. all right, so we have our eyewear, and you want to be really safe with these. So Mark, you know how to cut this now, I right? I do. Left hand for support. This is a miter saw. Go ahead. Watch you your can thumb, make our though. Cut. Watch that thumb. All right. Okay, here we go. Yeah. How do you do that? There you go. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. That's so good. So good. He's drunk with power you know right what? now. You know what? That was sexy, I'm not Thank you. <laughs> all right, so the first step for making our birdhouse, we would make all of our cuts. And to make our birdhouses, we're using one by six pine. Okay. You can actually make a full birdhouse out of one of these. Oh, okay. okay, and it was under $10. Wow. Wood Wonderful. is still more expensive than it used to be pre-pandemic, yes. but more okay. affordable. All right, so now pretend like we had all of our cuts made. Okay. All right? So then keep your eyewear with you. Okay. Now we're going to sand our Ooh. wood. Okay. So this is an orbital sander. Mm. Okay. You can turn it right on. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Hang on. All right, hold on. I'm a lefty. Okay. You could also use sandpaper. Ready? Hold it from here. From here. And you're going to sand the wood. That's going to make all the edges nice and smooth for your bird friends. How do you like it? I love it. <laughs> all right, let me show you how to set it up. Okay. Ooh, all right. that's nice and smooth. Makes it nice and smooth. So oh, it does. It. <laughs> feel, feel the difference. This was before super rough. Oh. And now perfectly oh, smooth. Yeah. Okay? Yes. I love it. All no right. wonder you and Mr. Mangan have so many <laughs> kids. <laughs> it's all about the power tools, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. All right, so now we have all of our wood. It's sanded, and we need to make a hole for yes. our birds to enter in. Okay, the recommended size is a one-inch hole. And to do this, we're using a hole bit. So this is just a regular drill that you would have mm -hmm. at home. I'm sure you do. Okay? Mm -hmm. You might need to, yeah, they're powered on. This is going to make a one-inch hole. You could use a paddle bit. I marked it there for you. So you're going to very slowly start. flip it over and go to the back side. Uh -oh. But I feel like we didn't make that much progress. I think we get the idea. Yeah, yeah we, we get the idea. idea. We get the idea of that okay. one. That's it, fun, though. It takes a little while. It takes a little while. Okay. Yeah. And Got a little it. bit of elbow grease, and then you have your whole. All right, we come back. Woo! We have more Woodworking 101. Stick around. Oh, welcome back. We're getting a lesson in Woodworking 101. <laughs> Monica, now we have to put our birdhouse together. Yes, so we are going to assemble our birdhouse. I've done okay. most of the work to get you guys started. We're going to put our roof on. Now, I want to mention, again, we could go old school with a hammer and some finishing nails. Yes. That would totally work. Absolutely fine. But for you guys, we're going to use an air strike nailer. Okay, so this is basically like... It's a brad nailer, so little tiny nails are going to go in, and it's as if you had an air compressor with it, uh -huh. but you don't need one. It's so much more homeowner friendly. Honestly, I use this all the time. 
Now, really? in the movie, in the horror movie, do they kill people with this? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, they do, but you actually can't just shoot nails out. That's only for TV. Okay. So, what I want to do first is we each have some wood glue. <laughs> so, bless, bless you. you. It's all the sawdust. It's sawdust. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so let's get our wood glue. Wood glue. And we're going to glue the edges here. So, we're going to glue right along the edges, put a little bead. Wood glue is really important when you're building things. It's going to add stability. And then, you know, you only put nails every couple inches. Oh. Oh, I got a little it. Twist. Gee, little that twist. Little twist to open. Just pull, yeah. honey. Pull. Pull. You got the. Pull. Got it. Yeah, got it. I can give you mine. Is that good? Not, yep. Not too much. Just a little bead. Mm. All right. Once we're glued, we're going to place our lid on. And I gave you guys little marks Markers. here so you know where to nail into. Because you don't want to nail too far. It's just going to miss the edges. So line it up. Make sure your little lines. Press it down. Now this is where you'd stop because you just like to glue things together. Yeah, We're I actually going to nail it. <laughs> I would stop at the glue. I'd be like, good enough. Good enough. OK, so I'm going to show you guys how to use this first, okay. and then you guys can okay. try. So okay. for this, I have it turned on. And keep your eyewear on Oh, sorry. Me. Sorry. Not, not yeah. that I'm going to hurt you. But OK, you're going to engage the tip here by pressing down. The light turns on. Pull the Whoa. trigger, and the nail goes in. OK? It's so much faster and easier. Now it's all attached. Like, what are the sounds of your household at night? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> all the oh. jewels. Yeah. Woo. Nice. These right. aren't as down as yours. They aren't, but that's just easy. He's with it. You okay. want to go? Here, go on my side because I know that. Go on your that. side? Yep. Okay. Just like so this? So right on the line, yep. Push down a little. Push and down. And then pull the trigger. Whoa. Yep. You got it? Uh -huh. One more? Uh-huh. Take you that. You got it! Build the birdhouse. Look at that. Super simple. Come and get it, birds. Come and get it. <laughs> now okay. we need to pretty them up. So this okay. is where you can have a lot of fun. You can get super creative. For this one here, we just planted some succulents around I it. I love a succulent birdhouse. Me too. It's so, so cute. And I had a few questions about like what type of birdhouses. These are for songbirds, so like bluebirds, blue jays, uh. things like that. And each different type of bird actually needs a different type of house. So is that true? Have, it is. Like they prefer different nest sizes and hole sizes. So look in your area and be like, okay, what kind of birds do I have in my yard? Let's make the right kind of birdhouse. We actually have bat houses where I live uh -oh. because we have a pond and we want to get rid of mosquitoes. So we built bat houses, really? which is just a little different. And How do work? you build a totally. bat house? Totally. We have a bunch of bats now, which. It's a little terrifying, but it also takes care yeah. of the mosquitoes. Do you, so. have do you have less mosquitoes? <laughs> we do. We do. We built them a few years ago, and of course, the kids put a little Batman on them and everything. So, do you know the... that Mark is terrified of bats? Oh. People don't know that. It is like his. It's his thing. Yeah. So when you come and you see them, I'm going to tell you it's birds. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's a bat. Birds. Not a bat. You also could put, a lot of people are like, hey, should I put seed around here? And the only thing to mention with that is if you're going to surround your birdhouse with seed, that's fine. But it's kind of like putting a buffet outside of your own home. Like right. everybody's going to come. And this house is probably just for one bird family. So I right. recommend putting your bird seeds separate from the birdhouse. Oh, I did not realize oh, Okay. That. Yeah. We but did... I mean, buffets are fun. We had frogs living in our birdhouse. Oh, where? Isn't that funny? Yes, where was it? it, it oh, was it a tree frog? Yeah. Tree oh, frogs. that's cool. Yeah. Look at you two. You're very focused and painting. I know. You also this could is what stain happens to these us. as well. And these are pretty simple, but hopefully you guys feel like you got some new skills this today. This is so oh. therapeutic. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. You guys should try this. Yeah. Try this at home. For all these great tips and more, go to kellymark.com and be sure to check back out, check Monica on her YouTube series, The Weekender. Next, we open up the inbox.